So let's talk about the Flash movie here in the Geek Corner for a few minutes. I mean, it's losing a ton of money. That they have to give free tickets to people to go see it. The main actor is a bit of a train wreck and is causing a lot of controversy for the studio. But I still like the movie. Um, but I'm left with one big question, and it's, what's the point? So let's talk about that today here on the channel. Hey there everybody, it's RevKev. Welcome back to the channel. So appreciate you being a part of the community here. If you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing to the channel, maybe even becoming a member of the channel. All the proceeds that I make from YouTube go to help children in Guatemala, whether that's through child sponsorship or whether that's through our special projects where we go and we're helping kids. And you can find out more about that in the description of this video. So I, I went and saw The Flash. Now, I went honestly kicking and screaming to it. My, my kids really wanted to go see it, and uh, my kids have more disposable income than I do these days, so they treated their old man to a movie. And despite all the terrible reviews, despite all the YouTube channels that I highly respect saying that this movie was garbage, I really, really liked it. Now, I really liked it for a couple of reasons. One, I'm a huge DC fan. So just out of the gate, I, I tend to want to want to like DC movies more than Marvel movies. So that, that happened. I'm also a ginormous Flashpoint fan. Flashpoint was one of my favorite storylines that DC has done in a long, long time. Uh, in fact, even though the new 52 comics weren't great coming out, out of Flashpoint, it was an amazing way to just retool things that weren't working. And so I really enjoyed that idea of it. I enjoyed how they addressed it, uh, the, the whole issue of time travel and how it went back and impacted everything. I really, really enjoyed how they addressed it in this movie. I, addressed, I really enjoyed having two flashes and, and how they had to work together. I thought that was a great twist to the story. I really loved seeing Michael Keaton's Batman back in action. I really loved this portrayal of Supergirl. I thought she was fantastic. I thought she did such a great job in this. But at the end of it, especially knowing what we know about what's happening in the DC movies, that James Gunn is completely rebooting everything, I don't ask the question, what was the point in releasing this movie? You know, like they should have, why release it when you know you're rebooting everything? I have to ask myself the point, why didn't you use this movie to reboot it? Like, a little bit of a spoiler here, but the movie ends in such a way that it gives no hint of a rebooted timeline, of a rebooted DC Universe movie cinematic universe, whatever DC wants to call it, DCEU plus or whatever they're going to call it in the future. Um, like, like we know kind of the James Gunn's themes. I think the first phase is called like Men and Gods or Men and Monsters. I can't remember exactly. I have to look that up again. But why not use a Flashpoint movie to actually Flashpoint it, to reboot it, to start it over? I mean, again, spoilers in here, but the big reveal at the end of the Flash movie is having George Clooney showing up as Bruce Wayne instead of Ben Affleck. Now, if they're not planning on using George Clooney in the new DC movies, why do that? What was the point of that? Like, it, it didn't show us any kind of glimpse, any kind of future of what's coming. It just was this movie... And it really tried to end kind of with this Planet of the Apes type of ending, you know, where Charlton Heston finds out he wasn't actually on an alien planet, but he was actually on a future Earth where humanity wiped themselves out and the apes evolved and took over the planet. Is that what they tried to do? Like, it just felt bizarro to me. So it just leaves me with this big giant question, what was the point? Because it's not going to go anywhere. They're not going to do anything with it. So for me, that makes total sense why the movie's not doing so well. If everyone is approaching this 
movie from What's the Point? Again, the movies are being rebooted. What's the point of Ezra Miller? Because that person just causes way too much controversy and they don't want to support it. Like, and you're already losing hundreds of millions of dollars on it. Like, why not just write it off and just do no nothing with it? Now, again, this is coming from a guy who surprisingly really liked the movie. <laughs> like, I came out of there with a big smile on my face going, I can't believe how much I like this. Like, I was pleasantly surprised. It was nice to go into something expecting to not like it and then actually like it. That doesn't happen all that often, so. But it just kind of feels yucky, again, as a DC guy, as a guy who wants DC movies to thrive, as a guy who wants Superman movies to thrive as a guy who would have loved to have seen a really good flashpoint seeing a war between wonder woman and aquaman on the big screen gal gadot versus jason momoa that would have been epic even to get a glimpse of it i don't know just left us a big old what's the point so i don't know how about you you kind of have that same feeling kind of just feeling what's the point of all of it are you just kind of brushing it all aside and just waiting for the new stuff to come out would love to know your thoughts about the flash down in the comment section below and again please consider liking and subscribing to the channel again really helps out the channel grow i'm over 2300 subscribers now really means a lot to me again all the proceeds go to supporting kids in guatemala and through compassion canada you can learn more about it in the description below so until the next video god bless you everybody and we'll talk to you again real soon